Hello guys and welcome back to Ruaka. It's been two weeks since I did the last walkthrough of this property. So for this video, I wanna focus on phase two and show you the amount of work we've been able to accomplish in that relatively short period of time. And also, I wanna show you exactly why we call this a farmhouse and show you all the things that we took into consideration when designing it to make it feel like more of a farmhouse. So let's go in and take a closer look. We are now in the compound and there's a few key things that I want to focus on while I'm in here. The first thing is over here to my right. I talked about this briefly in the previous video. We do want to create a seating area and that's why that slab has been placed there. But to retain that sense of a farmhouse, we're going to have greenery all around. And the reason this is actually a farmhouse, you might not immediately see it in this area, but further beyond that section, there's a bit of a compound over there where they have all the plantation and all the cattle and you'll be able to see a glimpse of that. Now over here to my left, we want to keep that green feeling going. So we are going to have a lot of, you know, trees and shrubbery and flowers to just beautify. We have to do this because we're keeping the client in mind. We have an elderly client and we want their house to really feel like a home. With that said, we can now take a look at the main structure, which is the home. One glance at the front face of this main structure and you can immediately tell there's been a huge transformation. And I think this is the best showcase of the amount of work that Fine Urban Interiors is able to accomplish in a relatively short period of time. What we've done is we've shifted the location of the main entrance but also reshaped it. But the main thing that is obvious to anyone who's seen the before of this house is the inclusion of these columns which I have to say I cannot wait to see the finished product because I know it's going to completely transform you know, the feel of this house right from the outside so with that said let's go inside and take a further look so guys we are now in the living room and I have to say this room feels so much more expansive. The experience of walking in is totally different. When I first came here, the colors made the space feel small and old. The window was much smaller, so it really did affect how the space looked. When it comes to gypsum, I have to say it really does play a huge role on how big or small a room feels. Now, we've gone with a design that is very wide and that is because if we went for a smaller design it would really work to make the room feel smaller but you can see that having it wide gives that illusion of a bigger space but also we've kept it very simple because we have to take our client into consideration they do not like things that are bulky and actually that's how we like to work and that this is another point where i have to point out that fine urban interiors really does knock it out of the park when it comes to gypsum designs they're really you know they, they can't go wrong in my experience and what i've seen from these projects now the next thing we do want to do for this living room is include a tv wall unit so it's going to be on that area and it's going to include a fireplace you know how we love to put fireplaces in homes because it just completes the wall but also this area can get quite cold so that will be a major plus but also it's going to be another design element now it's not only to regulate the temperature but also to bring in that farmhouse feel so we're going to finish that off with a wooden feel so that everything you know culminates together and really comes together well So anytime you see a room having this black tarp on the ground, it means that we've done the tile work. And here you can get a bit of a glimpse of what we're doing for this living room. We have this beautiful tile that we're finishing off, but you'll have to wait to see the complete effect of the tile in the final reveal. So now we can go into the dining room and guys, you would not believe what the shape of this was beforehand. It was so small. This, uh, these two steps were completely different 
uh, shape which caused this section to feel very cramped. The expansion of this dining area, we did push this wall back to create more space and that has to be one of the biggest structural transformations that we've done throughout this entire property because when you see the before photos, it's just insane how small and cramped this was as compared to what it feels like right now when I'm standing here. Now right adjacent to this, we do have the kitchen, which is another big area, which we've decided to completely redesign. You can see the makings of the cabinetry. We're working on the layout to just figure out where everything is going to go. But we do have designated areas for the refrigerator and you know ovens, because we do like to have you know, some of these appliances in one area so that we have other sections to have as a cooking area that we can make more private. Now, another thing I want you guys to note is how much light really pours from one end of this room to the other, ensuring that both the kitchen and the dining has ample light. This is due to the expansion of the windows that we've done, but also if you can just head over back into the dining where you can get a closer look at the kind of fabrication that we've been able to do. There's this misconception that security has to you know feel gaudy and not beautiful and it plays no part in aesthetics but when it comes to us when we're doing our own fabrication we make sure that even when we're doing like security elements which we took into great consideration we do make them look beautiful and you can see that displayed here with this grill that we've made for the windows that you'll see throughout the entire property so security and beauty can exist in the same project and that is a great representation of that. Now from here we can take a look at some of the bedrooms and the work that we've managed to do in there. This is one of the bedrooms that we're getting to work on and I think you can tell that it has a bit of a weird shape and this is where it comes customization really comes into play and really shines and shows why it's a good idea to go that extra step. So we can see we have this cabinetry. This is going to be the wardrobe for this room. We're able to put something in here that really fits it, but you can tell the corner that there's a bit of a different shape. So we've been able to customize this to fit in there so you don't have any weird gaps. But overall for this bedroom, you know, we have done the filler for the wall and we've made sure that there's enough room to have a comfortable sized bed. But another thing I want to note about this project is we're working with smaller spaces than usual. So for example, is right over here. I did mention in the previous video that we wanted to create every room to be an ensuite. So you can see in this bathroom, it's very narrow and that's where it's really going to shine the skill of the interior designer and how they're able to create illusions of bigger space, playing around with light, tiles, and you know, with a space like a bathroom, the kind of amenities that you choose to put in that. So we can go and check out some of the other bedrooms and see what we've done in that. We are in one of the other bedrooms in this property and it is yet another small room but it's kind of fun designing rooms like this because we get to really show that we can design all types of rooms we don't need just huge rooms but for this one you can see that we are figuring out the layout we have the cabinetry that we're custom building in the room so that you know we're not taking up unnecessary space but also this is another room that we did create it into an ensuite it did not have its own bathroom before and if you want to find out more about how that came about you can watch the previous video because I did go in depth about how we were able to create this ensuite now let's go to the next bedroom But what I really want to focus on is throughout all these bedrooms that we've looked at, we have not sacrificed a cabinetry space. We've not tried to make it extra small. We've just really thought out about the layout and how to still give the people who will be using these bedrooms enough space for storage. So you can see all the cabinetry that we've done, all the wardrobes that we've done are big enough to really accommodate a lot of clothing and still leaving enough room to have a comfortable bed. Because sometimes you find that when people are designing for smaller rooms, they tend to sacrifice one or the other. Either you're gonna to have to get a smaller bed than you'd like, or you don't have enough wardrobe space. So we can now go to the main room, which is the master bedroom, and see what magic we've worked in there.
So we are in the master bedroom. It is yet another small room, but that is a good thing for Fine Urban because we get to show you that we can really transform any room of any size to what you would want. Now, my personal favorite thing about this room is that window because I know that once that exterior is finished, this view is going to be absolutely insane. With that said, I do think this is the perfect place to let you guys know a bit more about our client. Now, this project is very, very heartwarming because the daughter of our client is the one who's actually doing a surprise renovation for her mother, which is just one of those things that really pushes you to make sure that every single thing is put into consideration. This is a farmhouse for an elderly person, so that's why we're going to take extra care when we're designing this. We actually had to move the client to a different location so they have no idea what this project is going to look like. I'm really looking forward to the final reveal where we'll get to experience that joy with the client and getting to see a daughter really surprise her mother. So there's a few other things in this compound that I have not talked about. We're going to head outside and I will talk to you more about that. I have to say this one has been a tough one. There's so much work going on. There's people working on the interior, on the exterior, but this part of the renovation is the most exciting. So I'm so glad that I get to be here. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, I do want you guys to subscribe if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel at Fine Urban Interiors. But you can also find us on all other social media platforms. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Fine Urban Interiors. Over there, you can find all the content that we make, whether it be this one or any other project. My name is Cynthia Shoya from Fine Urban Interiors, and I will see you on the next video.